familiar. KRCG 13's Garrett Berquist joins us in the studio to help us understand what you need to do when police arrive. Well, Megan, joining us is Lieutenant Dal Hedges. He's the active shooter training coordinator for the Fulton Police Department. So, Dal, first off, we're seeing the uh, students running out of the school. What exactly are we looking at here? Uh, this is probably the initial uh, exit of these kids that are coming out. Uh, you can see here they're being instructed as they're being escorted to keep their hands up. That way, uh, officers that are arriving on scene and so on can see that they don't have any weapons or, and are not a threat. And this is to help you sort out who is the threat and who isn't, because in this particular case, the suspect tried to hide among students escaping, right? Yes. Uh, the majority of the time in an active shooter uh, incident in a school, our suspect is going to be one of their fellow students. So we're unable to, by age, uh, tell who is the threat and who's not. So we have to consider everyone a threat until we can determine they're not. And we see here that students at one point were separated from their backpacks so they could be searched as well? Yes. All right, and of course, that's to check and see if there's any explosives that have been planted or anything like that. Yes, looking, looking for additional weapons, uh, ammunition, anything that might be evidence uh, for, you know, during the investigation of the crime. So now we see here, this is when uh, SWAT officers first entered the high school. So now, if our viewers are ever in this situation, once your officers are coming in, what do they need to keep in mind? Uh, they need to keep in mind that uh, we're, we're gonna be moving through uh, really quick trying to find the suspect and uh, take care of the threat. Uh, make sure your hands are visible, uh, not make any sudden moves, and follow directions. All right. Dell, thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, Megan, we will send.